Today we are excited to announce the availability of Riviera Pro Simulator from Aldec on EDA Playground. Um, if you go to EDA Playground, just select Riviera Pro from the Tools and Simulators menu and you'll be able to use it uh, for simulations. Um, if you want more information about it, just visit the Aldec.com website for some information about the features. Some ones I wanted to highlight uh, that weren't previously available on EDA Playground are randomization, functional coverage, system Verilog assertions, and of course the system Verilog program block. Now today I will briefly cover randomization and functional coverage with a couple of very small examples. Let's jump into randomization. So randomization is a very powerful tool uh, for verification engineers. Oftentimes you want to send some data and some signals into your device, but you want to randomize it. So here's an example of uh, randomization usage. So inside the system Verilog class, we have um, you know some properties here. We have an int, we have a dynamic array, and we have an enum. And um, they're all preceded by the word rand, which means uh, when the randomization is called, these will be randomized. Uh, so randomization uh, has constraints. System Verilog has very powerful constraint solving capabilities. So here are some sample constraints. And here we uh, have constraints on uh, the integer to keep it above 500 or less than equal to 1000. We have a constraint on the size of the dynamic array. You see here, I do not specify the size, so the actual size of the array will get randomized in addition to the contents. So here I want to keep the size less than 5. Uh, another type of constraint is an inside constraint. So here we are randomizing an enum, and we're saying that you know this enum can take four values, but we are only going to say that we're going to pick only two of them. And then you can combine constraints in multiple ways. So here uh, I use um, a, the int property, and, I saying, and I'm saying if the integer is, le is more than 700, in that case, the array size is 1. Um, so here's a function just prints out uh, the contents of this class. And let's go and see uh, what we do here. Uh, so first we print out the initial statements. Then we go ahead and randomize the item five times and print out the results. And then finally we use uh, randomize with. So in addition to just normal randomization, with, which picks up the constraints that are in the class, you can use this with um, syntax in order to add additional constraints at randomization time. So let's look at the results. The results are printed out. So first in the initial we start out and everything's zero um, and then we, we do five randomization calls. Uh, so basically now, now the numbers are different and you see the, uh, this constraints is being picked up here. So if the integer is more than 700 the array size is 1. So in this case it's 1. Uh, in this case it's less than 700 so the array size got randomized and got picked up to 3 and you see um, inside the array the values are randomized as well. And um, the enum is always add or div. So let's jump down to randomize width. In randomize width the only constraint we added was that the integer had to be a thousand. So in this case, as you can see, it is a thousand because that constraint was picked up. Um, so that covers the brief introduction to randomization. Uh, you can find this example in uh, System Verilog randomization over here. Let's move on to a simple uh, coverage example. So in this case, uh, we're actually going to be the example is a little bit a little bit more complicated. So uh, I'm going to only focus on the coverage part of it. In this example, we actually have a coverage class, a, a coverage inside a UVM component, and then we're testing that coverage using um, the SV unit framework. But uh, don't worry about all of that. Let's just focus on the syntax of the coverage. So basically, um, inside a class or outside the class, you can have a cover group, um, and inside the cover group, you have cover points. So in this case, we have a very simple cover point. We're basically um, uh, sampling the data of an interface, and the interface is up here, so the data is here. So we're basically saying we want to cover the data 
but we want a sample that's cover point only if the select is true. So this interface also has a select signal. Um, and the, the details of when it samples is that inside this class, whenever uh, we have the clocking block on the interface toggle, or the, the clock on the clocking block toggle, that's when we sample uh, this cover point. And uh, without going through the details of the unit test, uh, basically what it does is, you know, it first makes sure that the coverage is zero, uh, that there is no covered, and then it basically just uh, goes through all the data from zero to 15, uh, because this is a three-bit field, and it toggles the clock, just basically, uh, you know, doing this. And at halfway point, the coverage is 50, if you use the get coverage call it'll be 50 and at the very end the coverage we reach the coverage of 100 which means all the 16 possible combinations of data have been covered and if you run this example with waves you'll, you'll see basically what it does um, the first test is when the select is low so no coverage is getting covered but then we raise the select up and then we basically go through the data and by the end of the test the coverage is, is at 100 uh, so thanks for listening, everyone, and watching. Good luck with randomization and coverage.